Hey, is, is there an eclipse this morning? You know, I I've heard, heard something about, about that. that. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, we are joined by CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Harwood, I should, excuse me. He's in Carbondale, Illinois, which is just a few miles from where the eclipse will reach its point of greatest duration. Bill, good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. No, it's my pleasure. So, why is this such a big deal? You know, I think there's a couple of reasons. One is it's it's relatively rare. You know, eclipse happens around the world probably twice a year on average, something like that. But this is the first eclipse in the United States since 1979. It's the first coast-to-coast -coast eclipse since 1918. So I think just the, the rarity of it is one unusual factor. It's happening in an age where there's a lot of high technology being brought to bear to study it. And of course, this is the age of social media where everyone's got a smartphone. Yeah. Yeah. The whole community can stay in touch, share pictures, tell everybody what it looked like. That, that makes it take on a, a life of its own, I think, that it wouldn't be there otherwise. Hey, hey so Bill, Sharon doesn't believe that, <laughs> Sharon doesn't believe that animals will really come out at night and get freaked out and plants will change. What can science really That's glean true. from two and a half minutes of an eclipse? Well, first of all, um, she's wrong. They do, some animals do in fact wake up, but I don't know how common it is to experience it yourself. <laughs> um, there's, quite, there's quite a bit of science to be gleaned. You know, they really want yeah. to study the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona. You can only see that clearly during a, so, a total eclipse. When the moon completely blocks out the sun's bright surface, you know, the corona is always there, but that, the brightness of the sun always drowns it out. So even with a satellite, you know, you've got to put something in your camera that blocks out the sun, and that typically blocks out more of the corona than you get in a total eclipse. So this is an ideal situation to bring all of these high-tech instruments to bear to try to understand what powers the corona. You know, it's more than a million degrees. You know, the yeah. visible surface of the sun is just 10,000 degrees. So somehow mm -hmm. from the visible surface out into the corona, the temperature jumps way the heck up. Cool. And they don't understand how, and so they're studying that. Bill, trying to figure out thank how. you Bill, for joining thanks us. So much. See, I told you it was going to be cool. I guess it looks like it just reminds no, me of some animated movie, all the creatures coming out. 